pretty exciting to see her all the way back up to that point. We're getting closer. We got the tools all ready to go to start shaping about the 10 stones that we have left. We have several stones we brought up to get this project started. We're going to finish, attempt to finish. Up there we put Bertha back in place, but to finish all the missing stones. Make a big rock in the little rock, baby. Yeah, we are. All the measuring and all that that goes with it. Hey, baby. Playing hearts and crafts again today? Yeah, there's a lot of rocks to make. Where is that one going? This is going to be this one here. The logistics, the angles. Make some templates, they said. It'll be fun, they said. <laughs> because we have to make sure all stones fit. I don't know what they were thinking. <laughs> <laughs> gotta do what we've got to do. There aren't any stones for it, so we've no. got to. No, we've got to There do... aren't any stones. Uh-uh. He's just using this stone to get this angle because we have, the, of course, that stone, but this stone is just splintered. And it... this stone is going to be like this chair, and it, it goes between this stone and this stone. Right. Like this and like this. Okay. Like a parallelogram. Parallelogram. Like a parallelogram. Right. We don't have stones big enough to cut this one. This one is destroyed, and this one is yeah, destroyed. Big stones. Yeah, but not that big. We are doing what we can to put it back. We're just going to cut this one into two. So, doing what we got to do. So, Frank is now on the other side, trying to get those stone, a couple of those stones. Just trying to show you what we have to go through to put Miss Moreland back together again. Yay! That'll work. That'll work. Ish. <laughs> That's good. So now I can go down and cut two stones. And we already have some hot lime mortar mixed up. We can get them in place. And once they're in place, it might make it easier to. It's do. a long process. Yes, it is. Stone by stone, we gotta build her back up. Long and rewarding process. <laughs> long. Long being the keyword. Long being the keyword.
Now you just gotta clean up the edges. One of many. You got one of many? Yeah. One of many stones going back in today. Oh, many, not many. Yeah. Many stones. Giving it a little bit of a facelift. A defacement. <laughs> or facement, whatever you, whichever you want to call it. Making it look like the other rocks. Yeah. Now we know that these are kind of going up looking a little darker, but when the Because they're wet. They're wet. And when the sun hits them, it'll dry them out. The hot line mortar will help draw that water out as well. It allows the water to uh, Yep. The house stone, because I think it looks like a house. It is intentionally like this, because that's how the picture is. Yes. It's off-center. That's how the original picture. Yep. From, we found online from 2007. That's the only way we've got this, uh, a picture of what it looked like because we yeah, we had no idea did not own it then. Looks nice. A little bit of cleanup. Hmm. But I'm gonna let you do. Yep. Cleaning them up. They're not like totally clean when they go up, but they look better than what they did. Well, we got the house cut. Frank got the house primed. I would have never thought to make it that shape. Me either. I'm really glad we had the picture. Because who would have thought? But McGurvy, 10, 2007. Right. If you want to do a little research, that's how we found it. We, we're just searching for Memorial House, Ashland Manor, Ashfield Manor, all of them. And we uh, ran across some old pictures of the place. But some guy, when it was for sale in 2007, he came and take, took pictures of it. Thank goodness he did because we have now a picture of what the the tower. We that have fell. most of the stones for the tower spot that fell, but we don't have what it looked like. Right. So it'd be it's kind of like putting a puzzle together without the puzzle. Without the, without picture. the picture. That would be very difficult. Yeah. It, you Doable, know. but it would be more difficult. People do it. Yeah. For reference, this is the one that he's putting in. We have this one. So that will tell us what how big the space needs to be for this one. I know we keep referring back to the pictures, but here's that picture we were just talking about. This is the house stone we were talking about. So this one needs to go in so that we can get all these shaped. This one, this one, and this one all have to be redone. And I believe that one does too. Checking the fit of the new stone. Well, what do you think? It's just fine. Awesome.
There's the new stone frank cut for that one. Again, we're just checking the fit. If it don't fit, you must do it again. <laughs> or trim it. I think trim is probably the best option. Won't it be grand to hear him say, well done. It is exciting, Frank, even though it's slow work, you're still making progress with every stone. <laughs> every stone makes a little progress. Mm -hmm. It does. The last stone on this side is going in. Yay. It looks amazing. This is the little feller that we found underneath the scaffolding. Yeah, that's not my fault. It has big mortar joints and everything, but I'm going with the original stone, so. Yep. I don't think by the time they got here it, is, it was exactly level across, but. That's okay. It is now. There it is. Do we know which stones are new? I think that whole top line. This one's new. I didn't. No, that one's old. That's new. That's new. That's new. That's new and that's new. This originally was one stone, but it was so broken up. So I didn't have any 10 inch tall stone. So I just split it in two, and it looks like something they would have done. Yep. So. It looks amazing. And see? Spot on. It's level. Not even plumb. It's level. That one's actually level. And straight. And straight. Ta-da. That's very cool. Now we gotta pour concrete behind here. We're gonna pour it up to here, encompass the floor joists in there, and then we'll pour it up to here. Then have another pour up to the top of these stones, and then continue up. So that's what we're doing there. That's what we're doing there. Each town looks the same to me, the music and factories And every stranger's face I see remind me that I want to be Homer bound <laughs> Working the template again Well, it's another one I know, this is for... That is for that stone that just isn't quite right doesn't mean we can't use that stone in another it's spot. It's going to look a lot better this way. Yes, it is. It's not going to have a narrow and a fat mortar joint. It's just going to look a lot better. Yeah, it is. Did you know what I mean? I know what you mean.
get it in. That's two more stones that are going in. Yay! It's gonna look so good. Those stones are going in permanently. That's exciting. We had to make it another template. Arts and crafts. Yep. Another template. Trying to finish this up. Yep. You ever seen me do this before, baby? Uh, yeah. I'm gonna hammer on a rock. Ting, 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 ting. Hammer on a rock. Bum, bum. Finding stones that fit. We had already cut this triangle off of one of the other stones and it fits perfectly into the missing triangle. We have to make a little bit of an adjustment on that one. So we're trying to decide how we really want to do that last stone. Getting the last few stones in here. We have one more to make, but to know what shape it needs to be, we, get the rest of them. we have to get the rest of them in. Frank doing his last arts and crafts of the day. The very last stone. Trying to hurry before it gets dark. Yeah, really. Yeah. How's it look? Had to make a few new stones, but it looks good.
Mia, are you helping wrap presents? Such a big help. Mia, are you helping? Oh, here comes Pip Pip. Pip Pippin's turn. Such a big help. <laughs> wow. Are you helping now, Pippin? So helpful. <laughs> That's oh. even, even <laughs> better. Pippin! Even, that is so helpful. Thank what you. What are you doing? You're silly boy.